And meanwhile, the race to finish out the U.S. Senate term formerly held by Ben Sass, incumbent Senator Pete Ricketts will get the chance to defend his seat in November. Ricketts was initially appointed to the role by Nebraska Governor Jim Pillen after Sass resigned. And Ricketts received nearly 80% of the vote on the Republican ticket, beating out John Weaver and Max Stevens. Ricketts will now face off against Democrat Preston Love Jr. on the November ballot. And elsewhere, a full term for Nebraska's other U.S. Senate seat is also up for grabs this fall. And incumbent Senator Deb Fisher will also have the chance to defend her seat, garnering nearly 80% of the vote. She'll face Carrie Eddy of the Legalize Marijuana Now Party in the November election.